always be careful doing your intros. <laughs> Hello possums, Jameis Smith here and you can see where I am on Alphacraft in the nether. And don't worry, we're not going to be here all day. I just wanted to show you what I've been doing between episodes and then we're going to head off and do something else. But I've got all the outside walls done except for these two large bays. Some people have sent me some good ideas for those and I've had a couple myself as well because I want one thing for this side and one thing for that side. But that being said, this being done, I'm heading out of here. I need a bit of a break from the nether for some thinking time. And in the meantime, I've had a thought of something I want to do. Uh, is it four pickles worth or two pickles worth? I'm not sure. It's one of those things that he'll either laugh or groan. What I need to do first is have a look at how many cobwebs I have and possibly go get a whole lot more. And we're back at base. I think I know where I've put cobwebs. I hope I know where I've put cobwebs. I certainly know where there's string, which isn't the same. All right, there's the string. Uh-oh. Looks like I have to go on a barrel hunt. Okay, this is a problem. I thought I had cobwebs and I can't find any. Hmm. We may have to go on a cobweb hunt, which means we need an abandoned mine. And I think I know where there is one if it hasn't already been raided. Right, I'm going to get some stuff together and we're going to go looking for an abandoned mine. Now, before we head out, I've come to spawn because um, the abandoned mine I'm thinking of is actually near spawn. But before we head over there, I'm just going to have a look in what's left of Spiderweb Ninja's antique store and see if she's got any cobwebs in the crates. And if she has, I'll leave her some diamonds for them. Uh, it doesn't look like it, does it? Oh. We did not value this shop enough when it was here and fully stocked and working. We really, really didn't. Oh, there's another one down there. No. No. Ugh. Well, that was a fizz. All right. Off we go. All right, so there's the bridge to Alpha by Water. It's not quite rendering in, but you can see the smoke of some people's chimneys. I just want to head south of that because there's a ravine and I'm pretty sure there's an abandoned mine shaft at the bottom of it. Yeah, I'm taking the really, really safe option. We're at 30 deaths at the moment. <laughs> Let's see if we can maintain that. Here it is. I've found it, but it may already have been raided. Anyway, I'll head down. Oh no, look, 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 look. Yes. I'm going to head down. I am going to look for some cobwebs.
and I'm done. That took a lot longer than I thought it would because I have not finished this place, not by a long margin, because this is at least three mines joined together. But I have run out of time. This episode is late as it is. Um, no, I want to go up that one. I want to go up this one. Hopefully I can get out. Oh, there's a wandering trader. What a shock. Can I get out? No. Right. Hello. Nothing useful. Okay. Ooh, that's scary. I'm going to head back to spawn and we'll have a look at what I got and then I'll meet your piggies. Okay, we're ready for the spoils. Lots of rail, lots of coal, lots of iron, a bit of gold because I cannot leave anything behind. I am a pack rat. Lots of mine carts, odd blocks, nice haul of lapis. Uh, random treasures, and I do count chests as sort of treasures because beats me making them. I threw away the melon seeds because I needed the inventory space at the time, and odd drops from mobs. Oh, and of course the lily of the valley that I picked up. And do you eat bread from an abandoned mine? I'm not sure. But here's what we went down for. Cobwebs. If that's not enough to do what I want, I'm in serious trouble. I think I'm going to have lots left over. But I think that is pretty successful. So I'm going to pack up and we're going to head over to Piggy's because he's not on at the moment. No one's on. So I'm going to grab this window of opportunity and get started. Now, as the sun starts to set, we've got to hurry up. Here is the Pigglesworth's amazing base. If you haven't seen what he's been doing, go over to his channel, subscribe, watch his videos. This is not a natural mountain range. This is entirely constructed. Ah, oh, he's incredible. And see how dark this is? It's entirely spawn proof too. So I can run through here without any fear of running into someone unpleasant. But you get all the atmosphere. It's just beautiful. Now I do need to find somewhere to sleep. Uh, I think the ice cave. I know these bits aren't spoilers, it's fine. But when we go through here, some of this may be spoilers, so I'm going to be looking down. That's not. Look at that. That's his tree farm. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, this is what we're here for. I've got to be very careful about what I don't show. See this ravine? This is entirely dug out on survival with a pick and no beacon. And all the detailing on the walls. So you've got this beautiful formation. And the whole thing is spawn proof. On survival. Without a beacon. <laughs> that is incredible. He's got beacons now. So I'm going to find a spot. And I'm going to do my thing. And I'm going to be very careful not to show you guys too much of what Piggy is doing. That is incredible. And to be honest with you, what I'm about to do petrifies me. <laughs> I'm not good with heights. And this whole thing is heights. Oh, I'm really not happy with this. I've got to put it underneath. A whole row of it. It'll be okay. Another row underneath again. Uh, 
And now we take out what's above because that's all done. Foundation row anyway. This is getting difficult to see. I think that's right. And right down to the ground. Come on, yep. Yeah. Here, uh, yes. Uh, I think we'll have a look. Uh, I, I need a better look. I need a better look. Um, how about from over there? No, no, deploy, deploy, deploy. Oh. Ah. oh, ow. Uh, that's good. Mm. Oh, if I can make that over there. Ow. Ah. Oh, two hearts, two hearts. Ouch. Two hearts again. Oh, can I make this? Oh. Ouch. Oh. I can see it there. It's just, can I make it? That's going to kill me. Um, no pickaxe. Can I do this in time? Oh, so close. Ouch. Got to be able to... Oh, thank goodness. Ow. Ah, I can't take too much more of that. Oh, come on, that's, oh, phew, we're going to do it, we're going to do it. Yes. I got everything back. Now I have the problem that I have to get back up and I have to repair Piggy's wall. Oh. <laughs> we're getting back up there. Why don't I have rockets on me? Excellent question. Oh, I've made it back out. Here's the thing. If the connection is bad enough that I get booted, don't try and open Elytra. Very simple. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's coming together. It'll be fine. Now i just got to get back over there and get it finished without dying again. Oh, doing this last bit is so much easier. But still nerve-wracking. Okay, that took a few cobwebs, but not as many as I'd feared. Now i got to pack up and go have a look at it and hope it's not just a big mess. There we go. <laughs> it's done. One death. It's a literary quote. <laughs> It's for Piggy. A point if you can tell me which book is from. Five points if you can tell me the author. <laughs> Hopefully he likes it. Hopefully he doesn't come out here and go, oh no, what have they done? <laughs> I am taking my one death home. I'm going to make another marker. <laughs> oh, go check out Piggy. Go check out all the alphas. There's links on the end screen now if you want to check out some more of my stuff. And I'll see you hopefully with something a bit less silly and a bit less dangerous next time. Bye!